Hi everyone, today we're going to have lots of fun from the makers of Play-Doh in this Da Vinci playset for this vanity design kit. Now I've never done this, so I'm really excited to open this box up. We have four colors and it looks like we get to design this vanity kit together. So um, I'm going to open it up and see what comes inside. So it comes with everything that you see here. Um, you can't see this very well back there, but that's the vanity. We'll talk about that later. This is the mirror, as you can see, my hand. Um, I have it l laying on <laughs> silly candy um, so that you don't see my crazy lighting system and we can de decorate together. It comes with, here's three different color Play-Dohs, blue, white, whoopsies, and pink. I have in my hand the one we're going to start off with, the super bright, bright yellow. Um, it has a kitty cat, some flowers, some more um, dividers, decorations, hearts, butterfly. This little tool is something that we can stamp. Um, that's the kitty cat's paw, or we could shape and cut with that little tool. So that's kind of like a cool little tool to have. We have a white piece of plastic there to help affix our flower to the corner of our vanity. So what I'm first going to do is just um, unscrew that. Kind of looks like puffy paint, actually. And then you say you put it in this contraption. And if you can see, it kind of pushes it in. So I'm going to push. <gasps> boop, boop. I'm going to. You know, it's the first time I've ever done this. So I don't know how easy. Whoa, it's like way easy. I thought it'd be really hard. It's really easy. Can you see it go to the tip? So I'm going to go ahead and start designing. And they recommend that you start designing everything with a flat surface first. So that's why I haven't assembled anything. So I'm just going to follow this line. And um, you don't, it says you want to go at an angle. And you want to make sure that it touches the surface. Wow, I can't believe how easy that is. It's not hard to push. I feel like my assistant would be able to do this without a problem. Um, and we can just go around the whole top here. And in just a second, I'm going to attach those two lines together so it looks like one continuous line. Hmm. And as I'm feeling it, it kind of feels like a super light, puffy Play-Doh. I'm loving this. What I'm going to do next to add some different flair to this, I'm going to see what this tip does. So you just screw it on. And if you don't like the colors this came with, there's other um, boxes that you can buy with more colors. Okay, so this looks like a kind of like a W, maybe a wave or something. So I'm going to take this flower over here, excuse me, and put it on top of the kitty cat. Sorry, kitty cat. And let's see, get some petals again. Just really, wow. You guys, it's like I am baking my own cake and the frosting's really easy to play with. Wow, I cannot wait to show my assistant this. Definitely gonna get another one of these toys and have her help me because this is really cool. I mean, I can spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours doing that. That's awesome. I want to add some pink, so I'm just going to take this off. Very easy to take off. And you can see that um, I've used about half of the tube. So it, I mean, I, I, it went the distance, of course, but you can see that perhaps maybe you want to get some more of these uh, bottles because you cannot, as far as I understand, you cannot put the dough back in, and I'll make sure about that by the end of the video. So I'm going to put that in. Gosh, so easy. And then again, I'm going to have that wave there, and it's going to come out a little bit of green, and then there we go. Pink, 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 pink. And it's supposed to touch. Um, you're not supposed to do it in the air. So I'm going to flatten that down to make it more of a circle. And we have a really pretty flower that we'll put on top of our vanity. So I'm going to put the flower on. And it comes with this flower here that just fastens in there. Boom. It's almost like I'm touching frosting. It's so crazy. And then I'm going to take the back of here and just 
place it on like that. And then there's a back that goes on there that I'll fasten and it'll stay right into place. All right, I'll make some pink petal here. Make that really wavy and beautiful. Now if you have a grown up in the house that actually is an awesome cake designer, I can really see how this would be super fun. Um, and then we also have a kitty cat. And I haven't decided if I want to color the kitty cat. Maybe we can just give her some eyeshadow. Um, I haven't really decided yet. So I'm going to pull this out. And this just comes straight out. So easy. I mean, can't get easier than this. Um, let's do white next. And pop that in there. Look at that. Ready for some white action. Nice. We'll put some polka dots here on this flower. Because we got to have polka dots to make that flower look cute. And go. Okay, um, I think we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right back into there. And it just sits up. You can hear it like stamp down in there. T-E-F. What do you think that stands for? So I'm going to slide. Let's just see if I want to cover up that flower. I can just slide. Watch out, compound. Slide that into there. And we can have kind of a layered look. Or if I want um, a flower here, just press in. And it should. There we go. I don't have enough there. It should stick, and um, you cannot put this compound back into the jar. You have to, you know, use it, and um, it hardens overnight, so your creation can stay forever and ever if you'd like. Not in, only if this is a crafty toy, but it's also a vanity, so this comes out as a drawer. And so if you want to put in your frozen lollipop, or perhaps you want to put in Figaro. Figaro loves doing crafts with me. Or maybe you want your Elsa nail polish in there. Or perhaps you want Aurora in there. Or maybe just a secret flashlight to put in there. Whatever it is, if you don't um, want anyone to see it, you could put your heart ring pop in there and it just kind of opens and closes. Now if you don't want to use this as a vanity, what you can do is you can place in all the extra things that you didn't use for your craft. So if you want to um, take it down, so when, after it's done drying, you can remove it and try, do it again and again and again. So this is a really, really cool toy that Play-Doh has come up with. Now I do want to warn you, those Play-Doh, the Da Vinci dough, smells good. So I, if you have a younger brother or sister, man, they think it's frosting and eat it. I guarantee it, but ucky, it's not for eating at all. So I hope you had fun with me today with the Play-Doh or Do Vinci vanity set. It's a really cool um, play thing that we can do together. And I really hope that you like it a lot. Again, this is the Do Vinci. And if you haven't already, you have to like this video, everyone. Like it, like it, thumbs up, like it, please. And if you haven't subscribed, click right there to subscribe here and subscribe to the engineering family and tell us that you did so we can say thank you. And everybody, the secret password for this is so easy. It's going to be Do Vinci. It's like right there, but it's right there. Do Vinci. You can see it on the screen. It's kind of hard to spell, so however you spell it, that is fine with us. We totally understand, but I just couldn't think of a more awesome password than this toy, everyone. I hope you had fun. Bye! Now take a look at one of these cool videos that feature surprise eggs, Scooby-Doo, Paw Patrol, and even Jack Frost and Elsa going to jail. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.